fine. So good. You're fine. Which way did you turn it? Oh, Ian. Oh, oh, there it goes again. Get it. That was on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I live in Texas um, and I go to a church called Grace Bible Church. I am super excited about um, all the things that we're going to be doing and then just to be here like in the streets talking to people, hopefully being able to, um, through Jesus, like provide them a hope that they're just searching for. I wanted to do a crew mission trip just because I like what crew stands for and I like um, just the ability to share my faith with other people. I know Kansas City has a lot of problems like any big city does, but Jesus is calling us to be near the brokenhearted and I wanted to do something that was near to them as well. But inside what you're going to find is your schedule. If you open the first page, you see a schedule there. Uh, I know a lot of this is really abstract, but I'm giving you no illustrations. Um, but we're going to unpack all this over the next three weeks. I just want to give you like the, the context for what we're doing here. All around the world, people are moving to cities at truly unprecedented speeds and volumes. With the amount of people flocking to cities, it's causing an amplification of the problems. Poverty issues, sex slavery issues, education issues, racism issues. And we could go on and on and on. This is where the kingdom of God is really needing uh, God's people to step out. It's the mission field of the future. I've been on mission trips with my church. They've always been in other countries, and so I've never gotten to do like urban ministry. She's standing in the hallway screaming, but you don't know why. Maybe it's just Jane Eyre chasing another rich, dead white man. Today we are weaving plastic bags to make blankets or mats for the homeless. It's water resistant and it's soft. So yeah, just helping the homeless in Kansas City. Back at home, we learn a lot of theology, but we never really get to um, go out and talk about Jesus in real life. I think this will be more practical for me to know and learn um, how to take initiative in a spiritual way. I really wanted to know how to connect with um, people in the urban community better and um, how to open myself up. You know, while the city is very beautiful, like within those alleys and everything, there's a lot of hurt. When I saw like how real and just how damaged people are and how real it is for them to live in pain, it really touched my heart. There's just so many problems that it seems overwhelming, but we can make a change. We have the power of Jesus, we have the power of God. If we really believe in that, if we really understood that, um, like we can do anything. Over these past couple of weeks, I've been learning to look um, around at people and just to kind of like see more about who they are and talk with them. The first part of the gospel is that God knows us and wants a relationship with us. And so throughout this trip, I've been like reminded constantly that knowing people is so important. I'm put in a path with people. I'm put in a place with people for a reason. And I'm just looking at how I can love people better um, and just get to know them more. I definitely have to say that my way I interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis has changed. I have been given tools and ways to interact with people in a positive way and just be able to help them in their everyday life. Even if we don't see them come to Christ, we see that we can act as like encouragers for their path wherever they are. Even though the mission trip ends today, the mission does not. And I want to carry all I've experienced and all the burden that God has given me back home. And so now we're all going to get to go out <laughs> and do those things. Um, and I hope and pray that we all do that um, with the same boldness that we did here. The greatest well-being we can give is the gospel. It's hope. Um, and so I think if we have that in our minds, and if that was our mission, our vision, then I think we can, we can do this. We can bring God's kingdom here. I'm gonna miss just being constantly surrounded by people who are like working towards that. And I love this city, I love this city. I don't know why, I really do. Um, so I'm gonna miss it.